center at the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pituan. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson and this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League the group stage and match day one my goodness so much to look forward to it's Sevilla taking on Liverpool well the first game of the group is so vital you just can't get off to a losing start this could be a tight battle today Derek Pretty simple for the keeper. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Jesus Corona starts with Eric Lamela out wide. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Robertson. That'll be a Sevilla throw. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Fabinho plays alongside Thiago in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. They couldn't maintain possession. Jesus Corona. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. 1-0 then. Harvey Elliott. Thiago. It's with Fabinho. Pushes it off build up. Can they carve out a chance? Surely! In it goes! To square the game! What a contest this is turning out to be! So back underway. One goal apiece here. Chance to cross. Jesus Corona. And he read it well defensively. And played in. Well, no way through. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Crossing opportunity. Fabinho, could be a smart stop here. Well, they're going for the short one. Andrew Robertson, chance here, and saved by the keeper. Favouring the short one. Determined defending. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Lamela. Well, 
Well, there's a textbook example of how to press the ball. Lamela. The danger here as he runs at them. Can they convert? Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. And threading it forward. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Lamela. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. And Thiago. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Rafa Mir. And the pass could do damage. Opportunity. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Liverpool restart the game a wake-up call for them perhaps Fabinho Elliot Luis Diaz excellent assessment of the situation at the back Thiago Mo Salah in position Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, they've restarted the game, and it's three apiece. At times, they make passing look easy. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Harvey Elliott. Elliott. He continues his run, but the danger averted for now. Could be a chance to break here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, plenty of power there, but in fairness, should have made the keeper work. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, not long left now, but this crowd have been brilliant. Can the players get a winner here? And Liverpool might be able to cash in. To jump in front. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Just cutting off the supply. Darwin Nunez. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Mo Salah. And crossed in there. But goalkeeper's ball. Disappointingly for them. Just ten minutes to go. Oh, good vision. Oh, but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. And the emphasis is on creativity. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Thiago. Excellent vision. Salah 
must be excellent save well you're absolutely right it's a top quality save but they're running out of time here Jesus Corona strong but fair tackle and the electronic board showing one additional minute and there it is the final whistle it ends in disappointment
It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Yasin Bounou is the goalkeeper. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Eric Lamela plays with Jesus Corona out wide. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Over it comes. Oh, a really good header, but the goalkeeper there to cover up. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be off to a flyer here, and that was a poor effort. He must hit the target. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Alex Moret is the goalkeeper. Mario Ruiz starts with Giovanni Di Lorenzo in the fullback positions. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal scoring threat. And given away. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. really have to call that a squandered opportunity Stuart well what a waste that is it's far too easy for the keeper he should have made him work harder there Lamela well goal kick just as it was looking promising Lozano, Simeone, able to get a body in the way. He's driven in the corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, that's the end of that for now. Lamela. Ball's gone. Lozano crossing possibilities and a textbook interception Ozim Hen this might be ideal for the counter and that pass could be troublesome it's still alive A genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick well do you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score Derek they've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one well harried into losing the ball really effective pressing Yusuf and Nesiri now can they create something just unable to take advantage of that developing situation Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Well, let's find out if they can get out of their defensive posture here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper well they should be ahead now yes it was a good save Derek but he should score from there Lamela just failing to hit the target good effort though and that's going to bring the first half action And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences.
Lamela. And a decent delivery. Credit to them for winning back possession. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Could go ahead. It must go in, surely. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Simeone. On the ball, Demet. Di Lorenzo. Couldn't hang on to the ball. This looks threatening. Must be! He had to score, and he does. So, 2-0 now. Really good challenge. Jesus Corona. And he takes on the shot. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. And with the goalkeeper. Marcao and unable to keep possession Jesus Corona a glorious chance crucial intervention just then amid impending danger Giovanni Di Lorenzo far from a good pass Rafa Mir Alex Tellez has it well on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today Stuart, interested to get your take well they've controlled most of the game haven't they their one and two touch passing has been sharp the movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals they just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle Jesus Corona. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Can they put it away? And in the end, no damage done. Lozano. A bit sloppy in possession. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And saved by the keeper. Gisa and on to Di Lorenzo losing possession and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage well the advantage didn't come to very much hence the award of a free kick by the referee and intercepts again Simeone well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. So, full time it is, and a morale-boosting three points. It's...
And all systems go here at Anfield ahead of what should be an enthralling night of football. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. Stuart, your expectations? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk. Oh, can he score here, Derek? Not really the ideal clearance. Well, the keeper didn't have too much time. They've given it away. Salah, dangerous looking attack, well full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job, Demet, Simeone, went in strongly, decisively, Thiago distributing shrewdly, Salah! And it's come off the keeper! And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Ongisa. Good tackle, taken away. Fabinho. Simeone. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Salah. Mo Salah succeeded in keeping it in play. It is advantage Liverpool here to jump in front. Well, this won't hurt the Liverpool cause. Corner awarded as they attempt to nudge in front. Mo Salah. And Diaz has it. Has a go. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. And back underway. 1-0 it is. <laughs> Liverpool have given it away. And a touch of finesse. And splendid goalkeeping. Well, it's a decent attempt, but in the end, not enough. And as you say, good goalkeeping. Well, they've created very little in the game so far. Unless they can show more goal in that top third of the field, this is going to be a really disappointing day for them. They need to improve, and quickly. Virgil van Dijk. Nunez. Good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. And getting close to half-time with Liverpool in front here. Stuart, what strikes you about what you've seen from them in the first half? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to kick... And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here! So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Fabinho. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Salah.
Just the challenge that was required. They certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half, as they've struggled at times today. Determined defending. Harvey Elliott. Rosano. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Salah. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they take advantage of the situation? And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. 30 minutes left for play. And he read it well. Elliott. And they have possession again. Darwin Nunez. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Fabinho. in the dying embers will it prove decisive here it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in Ozzyn Hen that's some goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that Osama and a decent position for Liverpool to be in Could be! And a goal! The quick one too! And they've turned this game on its head! No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. And a throw-in it's going to be. No problems for the keeper. Thiago. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. Ten minutes left for play. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Simeone takes the shot. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Ozim Hen on a crucial intervention inside the box. It is advantage Liverpool here. Nunez. Oh, a lovely ball. defending going on in the grand scheme of things 4-1 so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said so full time it is and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin
League group stage match day one action. It's Sevilla taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful, but really sticking to the task defensively. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Yassin Bounou is the goalkeeper. Marcao starts alongside Karim Rekic in central defence. Eric Lamela plays with Jesus Corona out wide. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. A running room in the wide position. A wonderful intervention. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Thiago. And he takes it away. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. Fernando Jesus Navas Fernando Ball back with Liverpool now Alexander Arnold Well, can they open up the defence here? Must be! And a goal! Now they've broken through! 1-0 here! So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Good visualisation and execution. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Fabinho. This is Salah. Thiago. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Alexander Arnold. And the keeper didn't have too much time. Fabinho now with Alexander Arnold Alexander Arnold it's with Fabinho Thiago Luis Diaz it is a decent looking attack here Alexander Arnold with Fabinho well fantastic reflex action they take it short Alexander Arnold takes the shot a strong hand on the ball Fernando Jesus Corona Alex Tellez has it. Moving into the advanced position. And intercepted there. As you can see, Liverpool have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes. And their passing patterns have created numerous chances. They surely must extend their lead soon. And the half-time whistle is sounded. That is going to... And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Salah. Getting in there to intercept. Chance to play it in. 
And out of play for a Sevilla throw in. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Rafa Mir and the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Luis Diaz. Now veering in field. Thiago very alert defending to put a stop to the chance Luis Diaz couldn't find a teammate throw in here well read to win possession back and space here on the flank A fine reading of the situation. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And a chance to level it. Oh, body in the way, crucially. The high press was very much on. Jesus Corona. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now a huge turning point in this game they carry the momentum back underway the rebel pegging one goal apiece in this game and he read it well intercepting it Jesus Navas and Nesiri Fernando there's Marcos Acuna plenty of options here's Fernando straight offside but only just Beautifully weighted ball. He's given the ball away here, Salah. Ten minutes left for play. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Level it is, closing moments here. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Great opportunity, and a goal! The quick one too, and they've turned this game on its head. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Jesus Corona. Getting forward. But the danger averted for now. And he takes it on. So full time it is. And a morale boosting.
Well, the stage is set for a big night of football here in southern Spain at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. And a timely intervention. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Marcao starts alongside Karim Rekic in central defence. Jesus Corona starts with Eric Lamela out wide. Oh, terrific save! Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Who can he pick out? Oh, good work by the keeper. Simeone. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. Tries to lift it. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Yeah, the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Yusuf Ben Nesiri, determined defending. And now having a go. Rafa Mir. And now passing it through. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Giving the ball away. Rosano. Targets available. Cross comes in. Given away by Lamela. Simeone another successful intervention winning the ball back oh is he going to be punished here oh a goal and a moment the goalkeeper would like to forget all about so in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser 1-1 Fernando Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Ozim Hen. Can he find the net? And how about that for a save? Promising looking attack. Crossing possibilities. Chance to put them in front. Excellent block. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Failure to keep the ball by Sevilla. There will be one minute added on at the end. Simeone. Simeone, it's got to be, and this time it's in, fabulous goal, and just look at the celebrations.
And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Lozano. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Now there to intercept. But well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Fernando. It's with Alex Tellez. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. An alert piece of defending. Demeth. Could be a chance to break here. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And the alarm bells are ringing. Can they stop it going in? Well, they survived the attack. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Well, in possession now and looking to create something of their own. And coolly done despite the mounting pressure. Amir Rahmani into the final 20 minutes. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Can he finish? Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! So, back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. And slipped through beautifully. It's not testing the keeper at all with that cross. Rafa Mir. Here's Marcos Acuna. Jesus Corona. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. All even, but will it stay that way? Oh, could be! But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. And Nesiri. Jesus Corona. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. There we have it, the night.
Good evening. They might have done quite a bit of refurbishment work on this stadium in recent seasons, but it still has a refreshingly old-fashioned quality about it. We're at Anfield. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, the first game of the group is so vital, you just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Fabinho plays alongside Thiago in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And delivered into the box. Well, no damage done. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Alex Moret is the goalkeeper. Giovanni Di Lorenzo plays with Mario Rui in the fullback positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Oh, it might be. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Over it comes. And a time for calm on the ball. Salah, and there's the feed into the box. It has to be. Oh, he's blocked it. Lozano. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. Trent Alexander-Arnold Darwin Nunez well that effort was always going wide he's not going to be best pleased with himself Mario Rui showing good patience and just like that they don't have the ball anymore Luis Diaz well read to put an end to that attack in behind for him to chase superb block on the back of the ball from the flank Lozano Ozimhen really vital interception here Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. It hasn't come to very much. Determined defending. Just the challenge that was required. Thiago. Well, he's lost the ball. Could be! Off the post and back in play! And a time for cool heads. Salah. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Couldn't quite hang on. Raspadori. No more time left. First half is over. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And unable to keep the ball. Nunez, Fabinho, promising pass, in towards Salah, he's 
given the ball away here, Salah. Well, tremendous block. And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Well, Liverpool are getting frustrated now. Just look at the number of chances they've made. But you do sense a goal is coming now. Well, they need the ball once more. They know that full well. And steered back under a bit of pressure. Thiago. This is Salah. It did look on for them, but not to be. Lozano. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Andrew Robertson. Harvey Elliott. This is Salah. In position. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Good looking sequence. But the danger averted for now. Now well, just the tackle that was needed. 20 minutes to go in this one. Good pressure high up the pitch. There's a slide rule pass. A oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Well, as spectacular as the save was, it can't be just about their stellar keeper. They know that. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. André Franck Zombo Onguisa. Ten minutes to go then. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I just can't see them getting another one now. And a substitution in the offing. Mario Rui. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming. But it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Well, visionary passing. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Virgil van Dijk. Here's Robertson. Now still pressing for a goal here. Oh, he's given it away. And that is the end of the story. And my good...
Floodlights are shining down on the players here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Ajax, and they face Rangers. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could... Is this the moment? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. And the starting 11 for Ajax. Lucas Ocampos plays with Steven Bergwijn out wide. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, will he finish? Oh, great block. Oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. Yanis Hadji. You can sense the threat is there. Shot attempted. Well, closed down straight away. Steven Bergwijn. So, a corner here. Lucas Ocampos. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. McCann. It's a weighted pass. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Edson Alvarez. Poor pass under no real pressure. Kent. And the ball with Roof. 
And an astute piece of defending. Well, getting the ball forward. It's been whipped towards the near post. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Bad pass. Opportunity in the wide area. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Timber. Rens. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Marvellous anticipation. Kent. McCann. And the ball with Roof. An unforced error, you've got to say. And running it back. No danger here as he runs at them. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And well, the managers will now deliver their half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. A very good tackle. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Roof. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. And a fine stop. Applying vigorous pressure. Barisic. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Edson Alvarez. What a shocking pass, really. McCann. Lundstrom firing it towards goal well flinging himself at the ball well, they're going for the short one Hadji and a really good diving stop in the short corner let's see now looking towards the back post now too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat Lucas Ocampos. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Kent. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that break looked so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Did look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Oh, a lovely ball. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Edson Alvarez. In with a chance. Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. 
a potential opportunity for Ajax to extend the lead here. Well, opting for the short corner. Now to the front post. Just needs to get it out of there. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. And it's a quality pass. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Yuri and Timber. Weindahl. It's with Bergwijn. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes. Is it going to be? Unable to put the seal on victory. Well, what a chance, Derek. That was the game right there. Time for a change then. Lundström. Well, still time for them to level it. Really vital interception here. Shot attempted. Able to get a body in the way. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Oh, it comes to nothing. So full time it is. And a morale boosting. Three points on the...
welcome to Amsterdam. We're in position here at the Johan Cruyff Arena. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Ajax. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, what a start to the game that would have been. They certainly can't come closer than that. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And he could cash in. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. And that'll be offside. single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened and you don't want to lose possession there Eustachio Zaidu Sanusi now options are plenty well the threat was very real marvellous defending can they square the game? And the challenge, crisp and clean. And he takes it on. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Now can they create something? Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. He's in here. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Now, who can he play it to? Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Pepe gives it a go. Now the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Who can they pick out? Not the best clearance. Well, beating his opponent. Now well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. And this situation could be dangerous. Oh, it was close, but he's put it over. Well, it's been quite clear that Ajax have been second best in terms of possession. But what they've done with Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Mateo Suribe. Now with Toremi. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, let's see about the cross. In position, but pressure to cope with. It could be up for grabs. Getting in there to intercept. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. Well, in possession now and looking to create something of their own. But he knew he had to get to the... Could pull one back here. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. And that's going to be an Ajax throw-in. There's a slide rule pass. A strong hand on the ball. Takes the shot. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. He's beaten his man and in with a real chance and collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Pepe. Oh, he's given it away.
Firing it towards goal. And foiled by the post. And in the end, no damage done. Breaking at pace. And no luck keeping possession. Beautifully disguised ball. Big opportunity. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2 1. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Can he finish? Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Still dangerous. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not cleared away completely. Lucas Ocampos and lining it up well strong play here a good and fair challenge well the outcome is a free kick here Martinez and unable to keep possession and the counter attack is on options available but really sticking to their task defensively. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And a textbook interception. Well, very effective play in possession. Superb block. Not a chance for Ajax to extend their lead from this corner. Taken short. Edson Alvarez. Our keeper getting both gloves on the ball. And intercepts again. Well, this game is ebbing away. Can Ajax finish the job? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much-deserved victory. Oh, this is looking promising. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And they're making a change. Well, great read there to intercept. Timely intervention. Well, mopping up defensively. Five minutes remaining, and one. Th well, a committed challenge. What's the referee going to do about it? Speculative effort here. Got to it easily, the keeper. Grujic. Well, do they have it in them to level this? Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Owen Beindal, and threading it forward. Superb stop. And there it is, the final whistle. It ends in disappointment.
jack it up. This game, we have traveled through the Clyde Tunnel to the south side of Glasgow. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Rangers facing Porto. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. How about the cross? Oh, a vital interception. Ottavio. Lucky. Trolak. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-tubes around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Oh, 
Who can he pick out? Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Pepe. An unforced error, you've got to say. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? And a body in the way. And that pass could be troublesome. Big opportunity. Going for the dink. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. Takes the shot. A good and fair challenge. But he could run onto it here. He's in behind. Vital intervention. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. It just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. in the centre well that is how to nullify the opposition McCann opportunity and a goal to give them the lead they have their reward and back on the way 1-0 it is and there it is And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Pressing high and they have the ball again. example of how to press Antonio Cholak not testing the keeper at all with that effort and that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line very quick thinking there in behind for him to chase a mischievous effort So a level contest, 1-1. This is for Alan Roach, that's Alan Roach, please can you come to reception, your wife is waiting for you, thank you. Interception to snuff out the danger. Well we're into the final half hour. And played in. as they kick off again 2-1 the current state of affairs plenty of support here but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Alfredo Morelos This could be the equaliser. Just can't get it past him. Ottavio. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. And given away.
Might be able to set up the chance. Can he compose himself? Brilliantly blocked. Could be a chance to break here. Can they take advantage of the situation? And effectively parried away by the keeper. Connor Goldson. And providing width. Cleared away. Trailing as they are, they must make good use of this corner. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Gives it a go. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages. So back underway. Dead level. 2-2. Two -two. How can they open up the defence here? Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. But he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Well, visionary passing. Flag raised for offside. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. There will be one minute added on at the end. And there's the whistle. They cannot be separated.
match day one action it's Ajax and they face Rangers well the first game of the group is so vital you just can't get off to a losing start this could be a tight battle today Derek can he make it count And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Now can they make something happen? And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. And the short option preferred. Fine cross into the middle. Danger averted for now. An important interception. And the danger is averted. Right now. And it's Tavernier. Can he put it away? The clearance wasn't decisive. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Lundström. Must take the lead here. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Taylor. Very timely interception. And teammates around him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. What can Ajax do from this position? Takes the shot. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. They take it short. Good looking cross. Now it still could be dangerous. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Falling home with precision and style. Superbly done. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Kamara. It's with Lawrence. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, it's been quite clear that Ajax have been second best in terms of possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And a bit more defending on their minds here, I think. Surely the equaliser. And it's in. All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Shot attempted. And a goal. Another one. Two in quick succession.
succession. No wonder they're celebrating. So back underway, and the pressure has been applied. Ajax know it. Can they find a response here? Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And so it is. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Well, couldn't keep it. Kenneth Taylor. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And that'll be a Rangers ball. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. Pressing high to win the ball. Chance to play it in. It might be. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. A bit of running room now on the wing. And possession given away. 30 minutes to go then. Right. Cholak. Attacking possibilities for Ajax. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Kenneth Taylor. Taylor. It's with Bergwijn. Must be! Well, not quite the result he was hoping for with that shot. Close, though. Kamara. Barisic well, nicely cut out oh he's really opened them up here couldn't quite hang on but it looks so threatening but the danger averted just 15 minutes remaining an important interception Excellent vision. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. It's looking promising. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Lawrence. An unforced error, you've got to say. Well, this game is almost over. And could it be, Stuart? Ajax have left themselves too much to do. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Was an accurate free kick, but a fine save. Short corner favoured.
and the end of the story as far as this game is concerned. And I
Hello and a warm welcome to the Bijlmer section of Amsterdam. We find ourselves here at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Ajax facing Porto. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. And the starting 11 for Ajax. Lucas Ocampos plays with Steven Bergwijn out wide. Oh, look out, Derek. Chance here. In it goes! But it will not stand offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Just the challenge that was required. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. But the danger averted for now. This looks more than decent. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Pepe. Zaidu Sanusi. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And the ball is loose. In it goes! And the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. So back underway. And the pressure has been applied. Ajax know it. Can they find a response here? Perfect challenge. Eva Nilsson. Could cross it in here. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Ocampos. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Taremi gives it a go. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And over comes the corner. Not a bit short with the clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And a touch of finesse. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Body in the way. This could be the equaliser. Can't get the shot through. Oh, a superb save. Well, no surprise there. Porto have been second best in terms of possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Mateo Suribe. Ottavio now. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Corner kick played in. Not quite what they were working on in training this week. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? It might be. Vigorous defending. And keeping it out. And there's the delivery. Weindahl. There will be one minute added on at the end. And the pass could do damage. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser! And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences.
Good bit of pressing. Beautifully disguised ball. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! So there we have it. 2-1. Lucas Ocampos. Oh, big opportunity. And a goal! The quick one, too. And they've turned this game on its head. No shortage of goals in this match. 3 1. Of possibilities inside the box. Dangerous looking attack. Can he get one back? Oh, that is a superb save. Showing good defensive judgment. This looks threatening. Really good diving save. Who can they pick out? An alert piece of defending. A classic example of how to intercept. And support available. And a good tackle. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Not away completely, and collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. 20 minutes remaining. Ajax couldn't keep it. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Nicely blocked! Eustachio. Evan Nilsson, nicely timed tackle. Steven Bergwijn. <laughs> Mehdi Karami. And they have possession again. Will it be? And just narrowly wide in the end. Eustachio Pepe Well, that effort was always going wide He's not going to be best pleased with himself Lucas Ocampos It's a weighted pass Well, it wasn't a taxing save Really closing him down and unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Uribe. A very timely interception. And the referee blows his whistle. Ajax to...
And hello to you from Clydeside. We find ourselves on the south side of this great city, Glasgow. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Rangers facing Porter. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Connor Golson. Cholak. And a throw in for Rangers. Grujic. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Lawrence. Chance to play it in. Ready to fire. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that. Oh, poor from the keeper. And still an opportunity. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Pepe. Take it away. Next Phil Jones, next Phil Jones. Please contact your nearest steward. Thank you. Tom Lawrence. Teammates in the middle. That's all they can conjure for now. Ottavio. Well, great read there to intercept. And that was a very fine read. Well, Porto haven't been able to dominate the possession, as those stats tell us, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Can they take advantage? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Connor Golson, Sands, Bonna Barisic. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Is it going to end up being productive for them? A fine reading of the situation. And a throw in for Porto. Tom Lawrence. Well read to put an end to that attack. And now passing it through. A goal! Real excitement! A back and forth type of game. Now that. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Read it superbly to take back possession. Lundström. Can he convert? And blocked for now. 
It's got to be! Constantly thwarted. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? And he saw the situation developing. A potential danger here. Crossed into the penalty area. Not really the ideal clearance. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Now what can they do from here? Oh, in with a chance! And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage! So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Lawrence. Ryan Kent has it. Tom Lawrence. We're getting the ball forward. Good bit of pressing. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Barisic Lundstrom he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one and offside anyway albeit a tight one Kamara able to get a body in the way and into the last 20 minutes and space here on the flank what a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, as those stats tell us, Rangers have controlled much of the possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Absolutely. And looking to try to take advantage of the possession here. Lundström giving the ball to the opposition that time. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your oh, thoughts? Oh, Derek, what a chance this is. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And attempting the through ball. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Can they nudge in front late on here? Must be! And calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He might just have got his team in trouble here. And denied by the post. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, that would probably have been the winner. It's so unlucky. Is there going to be a dramatic finish here? Let's hope so. And we will have just one additional minute. A wonderful intervention. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes. To...
Something I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town to be our action comes to you today from Villa Park my name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League it's Aston Villa taking on Chelsea thanks Derek well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game Danny Ings and how about that for a save Young, he's in with a chance. Not showing good patience. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager and that's why he's offside. Disappointing pass. Well, 
they might be onto something. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Good tackle taken away. And can they create something? Ziyech. Excellent vision. Conte. Sterling. Can he take advantage? Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range he should be scoring, and he knows it. Top class defending. Young. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the danger is still there. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Koulibaly. Cross could be useful. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. At times they make passing look easy. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Crossing into the middle. Now they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Buendia. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Cash. And teammates around him. Textbook defending inside the box. Buendia. Danny Ings! And in! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Pulisic. James. And back with Pulisic. Just couldn't capitalise there. Applying vigorous pressure. Mount. Chance to cross. Ball is loose. Not a time for composure on the ball. And the referee. Well, underway once more into the second half. And from a Chelsea point of view, it's all about battling back. Sterling and the textbook interception in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here and a chance to level it Raheem Sterling has done it and level again here this has been quite the roller coaster ride Watkins and he saw the situation developing. Ziyech. Chelsea will get the throw in. If this now he's 
He's going to be disappointed with that pass. To the nearest steward. Thank you. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Danny Ings. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Konza. Buendia. And sloppy in possession from Villa. Thirty minutes left for play. Well, visionary passing. Well, they had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Mount. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Just cutting off the supply. Watkins. Mount. And here's Ziyech. Chelsea struggling to keep the ball. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Pulisic. Not a good pass. Effective challenge. Ziyech has given it straight to the opposition and intercepted it still pushing for what could be a winner can he put them in front? no is the answer to the question and that could be so important at this stage well will they get another chance that would surely have won the game for them young able to get a body in the way Dinia can he finish constantly thwarted oh can you believe it with so little time left surely that will be the winner amazing scenes here what a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, he's given it away. Mount. Now with Sterling. This could square the game. Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for...
jack it up. And now they get the ball rolling. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dina in the fullback positions. And up front, Danny Ings plays alongside Ollie Watkins. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Alan in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Ings. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Alan. Oh, they have it again. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Mopé. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. The the They've regained possession. One, please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. Out of play and an Everton throw-in forthcoming. Idrissa Gay, Vitali Mikolenko, possession lost. Everton doing well to win back possession. Okay. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Playing it in. Well, not the best clearance. A gift for any goalkeeper. Augustinsson. On to Mopé. Alan. An interceptor there. It's looking promising. No way through. Must take the lead here. Oh, a tremendous block. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Well, the marking was tight. The header off target in the end. Augustinsson. Teammates available. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Calvert-Lewin bodies forward and the break looks on real chance a goal 1-0 a fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen so back playing once more and it's Everton with the lead Buendia oh he looks threatening just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. And over comes the corner. 
under real pressure defensively will they pay the price and he got to it fairly easily well, there is going to be stoppage time but only the one minute and they need to get tighter here keeper had work to do can someone get on the end of this and he read it really well fine save and the first time Well, advantage Everton after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. And he has options available. Young. Well read to put an end to that attack. Spot on with that tackle. Danny Ings, he's got to score! Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Flag up, tight offside. Calvert-Lewin and here's Alan Mope now with Townsend Iwobi well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending can they hit on the break chances on well wonderful counter-attacking football just unfortunate that they didn't score. Well, had he scored, that would have been a great goal. The speed in which they changed from defence to attack was brilliant. Mope. Villa recovering possession well. He will be. Bubakar Kamara. Well, possibilities in the centre. A really top-notch piece of defending. Townsend. Nathan Patterson. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Holgate. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, what a dramatic finish we could have here. These Villa fans are ramping up the atmosphere now. Not a good pass. Idrissa Gay. Calvert Lewin. And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Bubakar Kamara. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Now will the cross work out for them? Sound piece of goalkeeping. Can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? It should be! That's a great stop. What a dramatic finish. Fantastic save there. And they will make the change now. Well, opting for the short corner. Cash. A bit wasteful from Villa. Buendia, and well, the flag has gone up here, offside it is. Oh, 
Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Mope. Good pressure high up the pitch. Wonderful chance. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. And so the final whistle has sounded. to be with you from Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Chelsea facing Everton. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team... It has to be! And just over the bar. Really good effort. 
And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Raheem Sterling. Well, closed down straight away. They take it short. Cross could be useful. A deft clearance. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Oh, fine stop. Short corner taken. Conte. Silva. And now with Pulisic. But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Well, pick your adjective where Hakim Ziyech is concerned. Dazzling, I think, might be an appropriate one. Stuart, what will we see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Patterson. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Couldn't hang on to it again. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Big chance, and there it is, 1-0, the efforts have been rewarded, and look at the celebrations. Well, away they go again, what effect will that goal have on Chelsea? We're going to find out. Tremendous ball played through. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Sterling. Good effort here. Oh, he's only gone and found the net. What purity of hit. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Everton are the team chasing the game. Let's see how they fare on that front. Pulisic. Still not clear. Pulisic. Well, in the grand scheme of things, pretty straightforward for the keeper. And that's great work to keep it in play. Read it superbly to take back possession. So inching towards half-time, it's Chelsea with the advantage. Stuart, what strikes you about their performance to this point? Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous, but I think they do have a bit more guile in the top third of the pitch, and that's been key to them leading at the moment. It did look on for them, but not to be. Rondon. And Mount. A super tackle, and they've won possession. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. So, one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Calvert-Lewin. And so, the first half draws to a close. Well, the referee sounding the second half into action and Chelsea with the lead here. Good tackle. Amadou Onana. Rondon. 
And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first... Oh, Stuart, an opportunity! Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Conte. Now with Mount. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Ziyech. And into the last 30 minutes now. And an astute piece of defending. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Kukureya. And Chelsea have given us away. Ziyech. And given away. Now he must favour the cross. Twenty minutes remaining. And Pulisic has it. Just cutting off the supply. Not a good pass. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Zakaria. Kukureya. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And Sterling, but he's been a bit casual in possession. Rondon. It'll be a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Kukureya. It's with Hakim Ziyech. It's really opening up positively for Chelsea. Cross could be useful. Couldn't grab hold of it. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Salomon Rondon. Well, they might be onto something. Well, it looked like it might lead to something very positive indeed. But a useful interception. And he's clear his lines. Ziyech. Sterling has it. Shot attempted. And saved by the keeper. They take it short. So there goes the final whistle, and this hasn't gone at all to plan.
to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa taking on Chelsea. Well Derek as is always the case the team that dominates midfield would be the team that can and he might be through here and the keeper has denied him. Well I've got to say Derek he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Well, the keeper committed himself. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings plays. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. So, underway again here. One nil the score. You can sense the threat is there. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And space to cross it. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Zakaria. And Mount. Pulisic. And fed forwards. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Look at Digne. It's with Camara. John McGinn. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. This looks threatening. Look as though they had it. And a penalty it is. Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a... Oh, he's 
guessed correctly and saved it. And how about the short corner? Mount. In it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. So the action underway again, and it's turning into a trouncing with Chelsea holding all the aces. Pulisic. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, we gave it the big build-up, but he didn't quite deliver on his promise. Aston Villa regaining possession. And the pass could do damage. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Conte Pulisic Pulisic Chance here Oh a vital piece of last ditch defending Decent progress with the ball at his feet Well it came to nothing in the end Mount on the ball, Zakaria Pulisic Sterling. The Chelsea move still flowing, advantage to them. Oh, it might be. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Bubakar Kamara and on to Young. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And there goes the half-time whistle. So back in business here, and Chelsea dominating the proceedings in the first half of this game. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? Ziyech. Nicely timed tackle. And can they create something? Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer and he would have been in on goal. And there to intervene. Bali. Here's Mount. Sterling asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. And intercepts again. Ziesh. Kukureya. Conte, Pulisic, Sterling, defensive excellence there. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He just needs to keep a cool head. What a save. Mount. Clean challenge. Ings. And on to Young. Sterling has it. Ziesh. Conte. Pulisic. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. 20 minutes to go in this one. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Can they slot it home? Oh, chance taken. There is 
opportunism for you, but a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. And now, passing it through, being egged on by the crowd. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, they just never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper. And to be fair, they've been poor, no doubt about that. But they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate in. And they've had a field day. The final whistle can't come soon enough. Mount. Sterling has it. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Leon Bailey. Here's Mount. Putting his body on the line. Short corner favour. James. Oh, he's only gone and found the net. What purity of hit. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Sterling. Oh, did so well to deny him. So the final whistle, and what we can say officially now is that...
me, is the area that's key today. A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dina in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays alongside Bubakar Kamara in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. Brilliant piece of skill. It's got to be! Oh, not to be! An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Connor Cody in central defence. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Well, not cleared away completely. And in the end, no damage done. Well, time just challenged magnificently. He will be. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Ramsey has it. Ollie Watkins. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Surely! And there it is! 1-0! The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations! So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. Coutinho. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Bad pass. Oh, he's given the ball away. Oh, left his man behind here. Gray. Leon Bailey. The press was on and it worked. Wasteful from Everton. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Coutinho. Dinia. And whipped into the box. Well, that's the end of that for now. Possession one. And he has options available. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Gray. Still a chance. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Well, who knows? He might be called upon again. Still some defending to do. Ollie Watkins. And now Coutinho. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, approaching half time on the home side. Very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half time. There will be one minute added on at the end. Well, there we have it. That's going to be all for the... So, back underway. And an intriguing second half in prospect. He read the situation defensively and did his job.
Nathan Patterson. It needs an accurate cross. Well, still an issue here. And he takes on the shot. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Played over. He will be. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Ramsey. Well, nicely cut out. Calvert Lewin. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Playing it in. Cody. Gives it a go. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Well, as you can see from the stats, their general play has been excellent. They've dominated the play, they've created chances, but the finishing has been really poor. And that has to change at some point. And now they need to put in the effort to win the ball back. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, flinging himself at it. Who can he pick out? Well, pressing really high. Really good interception. And happy to just cushion it back to the keeper. 20 minutes to go. Calvert-Lewin. Well, possibilities in the centre. Will it happen for him here? Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, Everton just one behind now, and you sense the momentum may be with them. Very quick thinking there. My goodness, it looked as though he was clean through. And the referee, what will he do here? And a long way out here. And never in any doubt from the keeper. Consa getting in there to intercept. Nathan Patterson. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Can he keep his composure? Tries to lift it. Oh, the finish of real class! No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Ollie Watkins. Nice and easy for the keeper. Gray. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Ollie Watkins. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Coutinho! Oh my goodness, what a strike from some. So there goes the final whistle, and this hasn't gone.
is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul We are heroes tonight Floodlights are beaming down on the players here at Stamford Bridge in West London. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Everton. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down... In with a chance! Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Swift ball into the area. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And the striker today is Raheem Sterling. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Opportunity! Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality! So Everton restart the game, well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. And plenty of space for this Chelsea attack. And Sterling has it. And not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Cody here's Tarkovsky it will be unable to keep the ball Pulisic and Mount Ziyech might be onto something well not allowed to continue he had drifted into the offside position well if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind he'll be onside but he does know where the space is Ziyech Conte has it Zakaria he'll have a go here oh yes you cannot strike them any better than that brilliant goal 2-0 now, and back underway. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Calvert-Lewin. Connor Cody now. And the pass could do damage. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And the corner has been given. Who can he pick out? Really closing him down. 
Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Cleared away comprehensively. Sterling. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. Pretty simple for the keeper. It will be. Oh, no, no. Nathan Patterson. Anthony Gordon. Might be a chance here. And a goal! Not over just yet. Number 17. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2 1. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And the first 40... Well, they get the ball rolling once more. Chelsea in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Conte has lost the ball. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Keeper throws himself at the ball. Not a short corner here. Holgate. No way through. It's there for him. And just over the bar. Really good effort. Committed challenge. Now play stopped. It is a free kick. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Oh, fine stop. And well, they're going for the short one. Holgate. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Please meet your wife at the ticket office. Zakaria. Pulisic now. Dangerous looking through ball. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Underway again with the score at 3 1. And a poor ball. Gordon. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Calvert Lewin. Determined defending. Can he finish? Superb block. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. A running room in the wide position. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here.
Ten minutes to go then. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. A failure to keep the ball by Everton. Zakaria. Conte has it. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, an audacious effort. Not every player would try that type of thing. Gordon. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. And this situation could be dangerous. And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough, was it? What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Calvert-Lewin. So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory.
Leicester City taking on Liverpool. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Really a very poor ball. They make the opening statement. And Leicester get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Madison. This looks threatening. On the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Thiago Fabinho Luis Diaz Really vital interception here Harvey Barnes Useful looking ball and A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Luis Diaz, Trent Alexander-Arnold, excellent vision, chance here, oh a really crisp effort, but just wide, listen, lost possession, well he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly, Succeeded in keeping it in play. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And he read it well defensively. Luis Diaz. And a throw in for Liverpool. So the half-time whistle fast approaching. Leicester behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, how would you sum up their performance so far? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. And the pass could do damage. Trying to lob the keeper. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. So, a level contest. 1-1. Thiago. Fabinho now. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. The referee's whistle... So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Mo Salah. Can they forge ahead? Determined defending. And it could be a chance for Liverpool to take the lead from a corner. Superbly read and executed. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Salah. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw-in conceded. Shot attempted. 
Well, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Well, the stats make it pretty clear. Liverpool have looked a real threat going forward, but their shooting has been really poor. Let's hope they don't regret those missed opportunities. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? Still possibilities. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Well, now they've got to concentrate on keeping the door locked. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Vardy. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Darwin Nunez. Now Mo Salah. Thiago. And return to Salah. Excellent defending. And he has options available. Oh, he's through here. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Crossing opportunity. Salah, and a long way out here. Oh, yes! He's going to be proud of that moment. What purity of strike. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four. He's in behind. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Thiago. Now Mo Salah. All even, but will it stay that way? Can he put them in front? And the keeper there to catch it, under no real pressure. Tielemans. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Well, I must say, it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Darwin Nunez. Here is Thiago. Nunez. Body in the way. And the teams are level. And every corner counts at this juncture. And short it is. Can he convert? Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Thiago. Well, there goes the final whistle, and really annoying for Leicester.
action comes to you from the English Midlands, from the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. James Madison starts with Harvey Barnes on the flanks and operating through the middle in attack, Jamie Vardy. Vardy. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Rodri plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And disappointingly, not even close to hitting the target there. Yeah, he was looking to open up his body, guide it into the corner, but he's got it all wrong. It's a poor attempt in the end. Barnes. Harvey Barnes. Vardy. He can't hold on to it. Rodri. Mares. Real chance. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. And Leicester get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Oh, is he going to be punished here? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? 2-0 Two here, and the ball is moving again. Well timed tackle. De Bruyne. Now Holland. Oh, he's given it away. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. Vardy. All of your friends. Vardy could pull one back here, but no! What a glorious opportunity squandered to get back into this. Well, that had to go in, didn't it? I just can't see them turning this around now. Well, there you can see, City haven't been able to control possession, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Chance here! Really a very poor ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Now oh, that pass, easy on the eye. Wonderful chance! And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, Leicester still trailing here, but this game very much a contest again. Looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. Now options are plenty. De Bruyne. Foden. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. So back underway at 3-1. Foden. Foden. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Holland. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And off and running again. It really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. Hold on! And a squandered opportunity there.
James Madison. Johnny Evans with it. Ndidi. Return to Madison. He takes aim. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. He's driven in the corner. Well, he couldn't quite keep it down. Foden. On to Holland. Foden. Played into the box. Still not clear. And in the end, no damage done. Harvey Barnes. Committed challenge. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Body. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And they have possession again. Plenty of support here. But they dealt with the threat posed. Erling Haaland. Is this the moment? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Vardy. Foden. Tries to lift it. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Vardy. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Holland. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Five minutes to go. Timothy Castagna. A wonderful intervention. Phil Foden. Here's Alvarez. Holland. City unable to retain possession. Mares. And now Rodri, with a crucial intervention inside the box. And that is the end of the game, the referee blow.
Come to know these head to head confrontations as absolutely crucial. In the... Good evening. This is without question one of the true cathedrals of football. Anfield, the venue tonight. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Mares. Liverpool with the ball once more. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And it would have delighted the fans had it gone in. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Riyad Mahrez plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? And he read it really well. Fine save. And over comes the corner. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Darwin Nunez. Here is Thiago. Return to Salah, crossing into the middle, and collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. Mares. Lovely ball over the top, and he might be through here, and a goal it is, the keeper really not part of the equation. Well, the action continues. Is there to be a response from Liverpool now? There needs to be. Darwin Nunez. And back with Robertson. And Thiago. And no way through. And making headway. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Lovely bit of inventive play, but just off target. Rodri. Here's Alvarez. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Alexander-Arnold. And a tidy tackle. So almost at the break here. And not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stewart. 
Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Well, that's a well-timed pass. From the return to City, maybe an opportunity for them to extend their lead. On the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Able to get a body in the way. And saved by the keeper. Trying to deliver it accurately. It hasn't come to very much. Read it superbly to take back possession. He's in behind. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. City get the corner. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Alexander-Arnold. Out of play, City throw. They might be able to get in now. The end product just wasn't there. And that brings to an end the first half. Well, back in business here. Can Liverpool turn this game on its head? Looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. Holland! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And he's fired over the corner. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Opportunity missed. Darwin Nunez. This is Salah. Fine work from City to win the ball back. A City free kick forthcoming. Foden. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Can he finish? No problems for the keeper. Foden. Alvarez. Regained possession. Now, who can he play it to? Mo Salah. This could level it. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Thiago. Just 20 minutes remaining now. It comes to nothing in the end. Holland. Trying to lob the keeper. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Matty. Well, it's going to be a great finish here. These Liverpool fans are certainly ramping up the noise now. They're surely going to get another chance before the end. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity?
And it is an early shower for him. Red card. Well, the outcome was never in doubt. That was always going to be a sending off. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Erling Haaland. Well, they couldn't keep it. Angled for Salah. stage could be decisive and a good looking ball he brings it down but what to do and that came off the defender so it'll be a corner deciding to go short with this one and he takes it on well it didn't worry the keeper already closing him down here Fabinho being egged on by the crowd. Really a very poor ball. Oh, the threat is there. He's got to score. Well, flinging himself up the ball. Not so late in the proceedings. Liverpool know they've got to make this count. chance great save at this stage well that would have been the winner
you from the English Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Leicester City taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Big chance! Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. And the lineup for Leicester City. James Madison starts with Harvey Barnes on the flanks. And the lead striker today is Jamie Vardy. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Nunez. Here is Thiago. The possession lost, intercepted. Vardy. Good looking pass. Harvey Barnes. And that will be a corner. Elects to go short. Is the chance on here? And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Thiago. Luis Diaz. Here is Thiago. Liverpool in a position of menace. Has a go. Able to get a body in the way. Vardy. Liverpool doing well to win back possession. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold, and they have possession again. Can he find the net? And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Playing it short. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they keep it going? Oh, a fine block. And Liverpool come away with it. Andrew Robertson. Salah. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Harvey Barr. Tielemans and now passing it through really good and the referee doesn't hesitate that is a spot kick can he make it 1-0 goal taking aim from the spot and finding the target and back underway 1-0 it is Nunez and attempting the through ball oh can you believe what we've just seen I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again back underway level pegging one goal apiece in this game and Thiago and the keeper did more than enough it's a short corner. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And time is up. Away they go again. Second half is underway here.
This is Thiago. And that's sound goalkeeping. Shielding the ball superbly. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And he's found a bit of daylight. And he struck the post. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, the action continues. Is there to be a response from Liverpool now? There needs to be. Luis Diaz. Now he must favour the cross. Fabinho. Oh, well, maybe the equaliser. Well, the stats show us that Leicester just haven't had that much of the ball. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And reading it absolutely superbly. Thirty minutes to go then. And players waiting in the centre. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Well, they fancy a short one. Tielemans. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. They favoured a short one here. Just the challenge that was required. Well, pressure building. Another corner. And the cross into the middle. A deft clearance. Really good interception. Real chance. Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. He's given it straight to the opposition. This is Thiago. And back with Fabinho. Thiago! Oh, great block. Taken short. From a long way out. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Another perfect position to read it. Dewsbury Hall. Here's Tielemans. Just wanted to get it out of there. Harvey Barnes. Liverpool have the ball once more. Nunez. Luis Diaz. Time and circumstances against Liverpool. But still they might hit back. And you don't want to lose possession there. Thiago. Timothy Castagna. They've regained possession. Oh, he's gone for goal. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. So underway again. And it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Barnes. Now indeed he. And an astute piece of defending. And now passing it through. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Luis Diaz. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes to...
from the English Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It Should be a cracking game, though. And taken short. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Diaz. Phillips. Just not looking confident in possession. Barnes. Tielemans James Madison but he could run onto it here well what an opportunity but really good defending you've got to say and it wasn't a great pass was it Vardy the ball with Rodri committed challenge Dewsbury Hall, a glorious chance, and I must say that was a very promising attack, the alarm bells were sounding, Alvarez, Foden, and now it's Phillips, Vardy, Here's Tielemans. Madison. Alvarez. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Dewsbury Hall. couldn't keep the ball Rodri Mares on to Holland and a little too close to the keeper in the end Vardy showing teamwork and commitment he's got to have a go here well the keeper kept it out with a minimum of fuss but it wasn't a great effort 
Harvey Barnes. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Madison. The ball with Rodri. Mares. He read the situation defensively and did his job. James Madison. Very quick thinking there. Holland. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And it goes! The opening goal in this contest. And back underway. 1 0 it is. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. A really intense pressure applied. So the second half underway with Leicester behind. Can they turn this game around? And he keeps going. Holland. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Holland. Holland. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Well, spot on with that challenge. They look as though they want to make this move count. It's been aimed towards the front first. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Well, as the stats confirm, Leicester have had the lion's share of possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, first order of business is to win the ball back. Determined defending. Well, we're into the final half hour. Oh, the perfect ball now. How about this? Tielemans. And it's come off the keeper. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Takes it on! And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Corner kick played in. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. And into the last 20 minutes. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, in some style, Edison prevents a goal. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Able to get a body in the way. Mares. Here's Alvarez. Read it well. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Ndidi. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes! And you never know in this game. They might 
yet be able to level it. So the ball is rolling again, 2-1 the scoreline. Justin, he has teammates around him. Well, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. Madison. Now with Barty. Chance to play it in. Walker. Back to Holland. Body in the way. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And that is that. Full time here and a win for City.
English sides who've come to know these head-to-head -head confrontations as absolutely crucial in the grand scheme of things. Good evening, this is without question one of the true cathedrals of football. Anfield, the venue tonight. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Introducing the starting players from Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Oh, can he score here, Derek? Oh, the pass denied him. Well, threat about it. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can rip... Haaland! What an important piece of defending! Fabinho. Harvey Elliott. Here's Robertson. Thiago. Luis Diaz. Alexander Arnold. And tipping it over the crossbar. Liverpool corner given. Gives it a go. And blocked for now. Worth the try. And a routine catch for the Brazilian. Alvarez, possession ceded by City. Oh, a vital interception. Well, Liverpool have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Can he finish? Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Alexander-Arnold. Darwin Nunez and take it away really good block well he could run onto it here and just has to remain calm Thiago lost custody of it. Could be. Oh, yes! 1 0 as is. And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. So, back in action. Will there be a quick response from City? There needs to be. Can they square the game? And the keeper more than equal to the task. A corner. And can City use the set piece judiciously? And over it comes. High pressing at its best. Mo Salah. Nunez. An incisive pass. Could it be? No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Alvarez. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. No more time left. And the referee gets the second half going. Liverpool with the lead. Will they be able to hold on to it?
Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Mares. Good looking cross. He can't hold on to it. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, I think everybody expected City to equalise there. They're certainly creating chances now, but what a save that was to keep them at bay. Well, pushing again for a goal, looking full of purpose and giving it away. Elliot, a good effect of pressure high up the pitch. In the right place to cut out the pass. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Fabinho. Elliot. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Well, he's given it away. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Can he put it away? It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? So, back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. And offside, unfortunately. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. So, back in action. City still behind, but this game very much a contest. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Throw into Manchester City. A delicious piece of skill. Foden. with Cancelo and a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened good visualisation and execution he's got to score well, will that come back to haunt them a golden chance miss well, the game should be over how's he missed that? Rodri They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The fans are driving the players on here. Surely they're going to hang on now. That's not a bad ball. Can he apply the finish? That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. He's got to get rid of it. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. And Thiago. A very effective clearance. This looks interesting. Well, no way through. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory.